I am very glad to introduce Mr. Deepanshu Sharma. Mr. Deepanshu Sharma has secured Alini rank 10 in computer science and Alini rank 63 in DA paper in the recent GATE 2024 examination. Mr. Deepanshu Sharma is our AS Academy student. He took from us the AS online test series. Presently, he is pursuing final year of BTEC from NIT Jaipur. Uh, Mr. Deepan Sharma, hearty congratulations on securing Alini rank 10 in the computer science. It's a very you. proud moment for all of us. Uh, Sharma, you please tell us how this AS Academy online test series helped you in your preparation as well as securing such a good rank of 10 in the GATE examination. Yeah, so, test series is always an important part of any exam preparation. So, uh, using uh, the test series, I could simulate the uh, actual exam in, at my home itself. I just sat down and uh, attempted the three hour test. So, by the time I was in the actual exam, I just felt like it's just another of those days, like since I've been practicing for so long. Plus, the test series also helps us know that, actually know that uh, what concepts we are weak in, what concepts we are strong in. Like if we just uh, practice uh, no normally, then we don't get uh, that much idea of time management or uh, where we can improve things. Right. Mr. Okay. Deepan Sharma, yeah. uh, see, you presently were in the final year, yes, right? Sir. Did you take the gate exam in your third year also? Yes, sir. I attempted it in the third year as well. What was your rank, if you don't mind? I, yeah, I secured 299 rank in third year. 299 rank in gate exam while he was in third year and a 10th rank while he was in, while he is in now, final year, right. Very good, uh, Deepan Sharma. See, while studying this university syllabus, studying again for this gate preparation, getting such a good rank really is a challenging task. How you used to carry out your preparation regarding your university syllabus as well as this gate syllabus? Okay, so honestly, like my gate focus preparation was done only in the last two months, December and January. So, but uh, what the thing which helped me was that I always uh, attended my college classes regularly. I always uh, studied the subjects in depth, whichever, whichever were being taught in college. So, from there, my base of the subjects was already very strong. Now, when December came and gate exam was closed, so I started that now I, I can do a focus preparation. So, I just uh, revised all the subjects which I already had a good grip on. And uh, then I attempted questions, attempted test series. So, I think uh, if you consider it uh, like a one year uh, preparation time, then you may feel any pressure. But if you like uh, just uh, do things regularly, spread it out over the two, three years of your college life, then it's a very easy task to manage all the subjects. Okay. What is your uh, best suggestion for the students who are studying the BTEC, yeah. right, regarding the preparation? When they should start? Should they start in their first year or second year? What is the appropriate time? <laughs> Well, uh, the cliche is that the best time to start is today, but so generally, I think, uh, uh, I mean, even in first year, there are two, uh, two or three subjects which are covered in a college syllabus and uh, like C programming and digital logic. So I think you can start with first year itself. I mean, uh, you can, uh, if the syllabus is already being taught in college, you won't have problems uh, in balancing semester exams also if you are studying the same subjects at the same time. And you can just dedicate some time on weekends for practice itself. When you just spread this out over the uh, three years of college life, then uh, you feel a very little load of the subjects. Right. So uh, see, I personally kind of started in first year, uh, you can say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. See, uh, in your computer science, there are so many subjects, right? Yes. Which subjects have fetched you a lot in this gate examination? I think uh, the lowest effort subjects which uh, help us score most marks are programming and data structures and digital logic is also an easy subject you can easily get marks and I think theory of computation plus uh, the common subjects aptitude and English. So, uh, they are also very easy if you can just devote some time and the return of interest is very good. I mean, in less time you can secure more marks compared to the difficult subjects. So, how many marks you got for this 10th rank? Uh, 85.26. So 85.26, right? What is your gate score? 979. 979. Okay. Uh, very good. See, in our uh, ES online test series, there are so many hundreds of uh, mock exams are there. Yeah. If you see, we have 
subject wise uh, tests are there, then combination of tests also there, then we have full length mock tests also there, more than 100 tests are there. So how you used to schedule these examinations along with your preparation? Yeah, so, the very simple idea is what, whatever topic you are studying right now, you can attempt that, uh, that topic topic wise test. And when you, let's say you are done with the subject, you can attempt the subject wise test of that. And when you are close to the preparation, let's say one month is left, uh, you can just start solving the full, full length syllabus test itself. It's just about where, uh, what stage you are in of your preparation. So, uh, I guess my exam was on February 10th and since January 10th, I've been doing a full syllabus test every day. So, just before one month, one and a half month uh, before the actual gate examination, yeah. if you can focus on the full length mock test, that will be yeah. right so appropriate. If, uh, if you get the habit of like sitting 3 hours, 9 to 12 every day, then in the actual exam, it just feels like uh, it's a daily habit for me. It's just yeah, that's what thing. many students also do. Suppose their gate examination is in the afternoon session. They try to take the mock exams in the afternoon period. Suppose the gate exam for them is morning session. The students also take the mock in the morning session. That is to simulate the actual environment in the real gate examination. Okay. In our yes online test series, uh, we are used to stand rank wise in, in the main mock exams, full length mock exams. Yeah. So, I guess when I started, my rank was uh, like uh, even in 200 students, I was like 50, 60 something. Mm. So, by the time I started, many students had not started attempting tests. Okay. So, but uh, as slowly I started coming in top 10 and at the last phase, I think I was consistently in top 5. Two times I think I was first also in the test. Mm. So, you used to get a yes online test series the two times first rank and used to be in the top five, right? Yeah, in the latest part of like, So, now in the, yes, in the main gate exam also you got now 10th rank. Yes. So, can you say that yes online test series on par with the real gate examination? Yeah, yeah, almost. So, uh, in the final exam some minor uh, deflections would be there but uh, mm. more or less, yeah, all the top students and you attempt the test series. So, the, the competition which you have attempts that test series. So, mm. more or less it's similar, I guess. Okay, right. Uh, suppose you get some disappointing marks in, let us say, in one mock exam. Yeah. So, how you used to learn from that uh, disappointment? How you used to modify your preparation? Yeah, so the thing with the uh, mock test is that uh, you have to be a little practical and not emotional. Like, let's say if you are uh, scoring, uh, if you scored good marks in a mock test, don't be very overjoyed and don't study for that day. And if you are uh, getting less marks in a mock test, then don't be demotivated. You should just treat it practically. You have solved the test. Now you have to give that one or one and a half hour for analysis itself without like forgetting how many marks you got. Some papers are hard, you are anyways gonna score less. Some papers are uh, easy and uh, there's also a balance of like, how, uh, maybe if the paper contains most of the topics which you are strong in, you will score more anyways. So, just deal with the paper, deal with every paper alike and focus on that analysis part uh, with the like unbiased opinion. Okay. On the, on the actual gate examination day, yeah. in the three hours period of time, yeah. you have to solve the 65 questions. Yes. Did you follow any strategy while attempting the question? Otherwise, you used to take the question as they appear on the screen. I went uh, one to 65 itself, but uh, if I read the question and I thought that this is a difficult question or I don't know some concept or this will waste my time, I kept it for the end. I skipped it for the moment. That's the only thing I just followed. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, have you ever fancied that you are going to get this uh, top 10th rank? What? Uh, sorry. I didn't. Have you ever fancied, have you ever expected that after oh. giving the gate examination? Yeah, I, honestly, I was expecting like uh, on the day of the examination, I was expecting like 80 marks or something and I thought that this would be a top 100 <laughs> rank. Like, okay. But I didn't think uh, any, I would get anywhere close to 10th. I was also scared obviously that uh, maybe I'll get some three digit rank even worse than third year. Okay. But things turned out well. Uh, <laughs> gate exam is always known for what you call surprises, uh, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Hmm? Once again, congratulate you, Mr. Right. Finally, please tell us from your successful journey. Yes. While studying BTEC, you got a very good rank like this, right? Mm. So, from this uh, successful journey, what are sessions, what tips that you are going to share with the aspirants of this gate examination in general yeah. and for the uh, third year final students in particular of your computer science? Yeah, so uh, one general tip was that only that uh, simulate the exam in a real real environment, uh, like where your focus no one disturbs you for three hours, and uh, or, like, some extra things you can go to some extra length. Just keep one water bottle with you because some at some centers water won't be available. You should be used uh, like you should be prepared for every sort of situation that's gonna happen. 
and another tip is that uh, my basic idea of preparation is always that put some effort into planning first don't just blindly start preparing you should always have a plan for like which subjects you are going to do when like take two three subjects in parallel so that uh, you can uh, your mind feels fresh every time you start you sit down to study and uh, like uh, some people are lazy with planning the thing that let's just start studying but uh, if you put some effort into planning you save a lot of time you get a lot more marks later and similarly uh, you can just build strategies on how to attempt the test paper but i would advise that uh, once consult with your teachers also before uh, trying out something new for third year students i would advise that uh, anyways you will have an attempt in the college in the fourth year so you you should try out as many things as you can do in the third year like treat this as a practice exam which you are actually getting on the all india level so uh, m- most of the subjects are already covered you can uh, just uh, do as much as you want this is the like uh, exam where you can be open minded with your preparation you don't have that much of stress so and after you and after the third year uh, attempt you can learn a lot from it like my rank improved from 299 to 10 because many things i learned that uh, what i did there in this particular subject i don't have to do it now things like that so for fourth year student it would be like uh, you start preparing when enough time is left so that uh, you can uh, finish in time and uh, i guess yeah that's it right okay very good adipansh adipansh finally tell me with this uh, 10th rank in the gate exam computer science yeah. what are you going to do now <laughs> i think yeah that still remains to be decided because uh, now there are two options of masters in cs and da there is option of psu as well like my default uh, wish is to like uh, continue the job which i got from college placement but i'll discuss with my, it with my parents and some uh, and some other teachers from college and all and i'll see i've not yet concluded on what to do with this right good luck right So once again, I congratulate you on behalf of BS Academy, and I wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, sir. God bless you, Deepansh. Thank you. Sir. Thank you for giving this interview. Thanks, sir.